Hi, I'd like to do an honest, unbiased review of this knife sharpener by Sharpall. So this is what it looks like. Um, the first groove here, it's kind of wide and flat. This is for sharpening scissor blades. And then the middle one that is labeled number one, and there are icons here, there's the scissors one. Number one is for a coarse sharpening. So just to kind of um, set that, that blade or cut the, for the first couple of times, that's the coarse sharpening. And then number two is uh, the fine sharpening. And so after you've done the coarse and, and set that line, then you'll wanna fine tune it with the number two opening here. And then it has like a suction cup type bottom. And this black lever is what um, makes it suck to your countertop. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So it really is best recommended to have this close to your counter, the edge of your countertop, because um, you don't want to like lose control of the blade. And so I'm going to kind of do it to the side, but you're going to take this black uh, lever and push it down. And so now it's really, it is really stuck on there. In order to get this off, I'm going to have to lift the lever back up, which is how you do it. But you can see that is really on there. So I do have a, a knife here. This is an older knife. It's kind of dull, so it's a good one to use for this. But I'm going to go on number one. Hopefully you can hear that. It's kind of setting that first groove. And then I'm going to go over to number two. It's not as coarse sounding. So here's the difference. Here's one and here's two. The, it, it might be hard to hear it on the video, but there is a difference in the way that sounds. And so you're just going to do this a couple of times. As you can see, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on this because if you're really pressing down, then the chance of you losing control of the knife is really high. It even says that in the manual that comes in the box. So just do, just do a really light stroke there. So that's how you use this knife sharpener. Um, and again, here's what it looks like. And I lifted up that lever and, and was able to get it off of my countertop. So that's what it looks like. It's really easy to use and it really, really works. And I kind of like the stainless steel. Like I keep it in a drawer, but still I like the kind of stainless steel look with the black. Um, it matches my kitchen. So anyway, really, um, really recommend this for sharpening your kitchen knives. Thanks.